Lena is living in a nursing home. She is a person diagnosed with Alzheimer, a disease without a cure, serious games for multimodal training and brain fitness, support to delay cognitive decline. Lena is playing the Myra game. She started to play it, with the help of an Alzheimer trainer, who was visiting her every week. But finally, she can play the game, totally on her own, and she is proud of it. Myra is a game to train executive functions, through a gaze interface. Myra is played on a tablet PC. The first step is to calibrate eye gaze, with respect to the tablet-based display, by gazing at flowers and confirming by pen. A device embedded camera tracks the face for eye detection, and the estimation of gaze orientation. After calibration, the game menu appears. Games are inspired by activities of daily living, like feeding a cat, gardening, or cleaning. The tablet camera tracks the elderly eye movements, controlling the game by gaze only. Lena has her eyes shut quite a lot, but the gaze tracker works quite well. Alzheimer's impacts inhibitory functionality of eye movements. Prozacades fixate the stimulus and anti-zaccades gaze away from the stimulus. Anti-zaccade tests are used to estimate the mental state. Martin shows us how to calibrate, his head and eyes are tracked, one has to fixate flowers. The red dot depicts the system's estimate of gaze on display, within two areas of interest, the doors, the anti-zaccade test will be evaluated. A good or bad character might appear and by fixating them, characters get activated, either for good or bad. The bad guy will steal food from poor cat's feeding dish. The good grandmother will provide food to the cat, to make her healthy and happy. Lena is activating the grandmother for feeding, and gets points for the overall score. Images at the bottom show different states of cat happiness. Activation of a good character provides food and makes the cat even more happier. The images shows the progress of the game, and keeps users motivated to perform well. Lena receives a score of 1.5 out of 5 stars. Lena always wants more stars, the score is logged to the server for each game. Here is the horizontal amplitude of gaze over time. The appearances of good characters in blue should be gazed, bad characters marked in red should be avoided. Correct gaze behavior provides a gain of points. Myra stands for Mobile Instrumental Review of Attention. Fifteen participants in a field trial played it. The mean game score correlates very well, with several important dementia rating scales, such as the Montreal Cognitive Assessment or MOCA and even with activities of daily living. A second-order polynomial regression provides accurate estimates of cognitive assessments. The mean estimation error is about 2.6 points. Finally, Lena had a lot of fun playing the game.